everybody to this Until Dawn Let's Play. We're going to call this part one and the first part part zero because completely hose the audio for everybody. But Technical th difficulties. There should be no, no weird hosings this time uh, for anybody that did not watch the first part. Two people died and we're now a year later and uh, it, we're facing the son of Sam Killer. No, wait, Sam's a character. Never mind. <laughs> Sam. The best friend of one of the girls who died, who's diligent, courte considerate, and adventurous, sort of. Cur courteous? Courteous. That's all. Awesome. Considerate? Courteous. Hello? Uh, one or the other. Someone there? Yes. Your death. <sighs> Did you hear that? Yes. Path to Cable Car Station. Okay, we get the left stick our way. What is <laughs> she... We get the left stick our way. We're left sticking our way. Tutorial, you can use the right stick to move the camera. Ish. It's this weird third person view. I don't understand this. It's like, you can't, you're not really swinging the camera around. You're not really, I mean, you're kind of following the first person view because like her head turns. I mean, look, but it's like it's slow. It's like there's a mental delay there. <laughs> yes. I already looked around and I understand your glinting concepts because we did this the first time. And now the good old R2 and inspect. No! <laughs> Gates busted, climb over by Chris. See, I want to know what that says. So, what does it say? Yo, how do I get there again from somebody? So, this is taking place on December 28th, 2014. Whatever that email is. I'm sure that the rest of that is more important. I guess I have to go over, let's, let's go over here to the rock wall and go ahead and climb up. And let's be safe about this one. We don't want to die right away. Oh crap. <laughs> Still don't remember where the controls are. Okay, quick, quick buttons. Why is she wearing a skirt thingy in the middle of the winter? No, damn it. So once again, here we are on fail to do gaming correctly. Okay, square and circle. circles over here and climb. I like the I like the oh crap noises. Uh, I don't have the muscle memory for PS4 yet. If this was on a PC, I'd have it. Uh, the gaming master race, as you like to say. The master race. Totally subscribe to that theory. But here we are on a PS4. So, yeah. Alright, now left sticking once again in through the fog. Up the path here. In what universe is her clothing practical? That, well, that's what I mean. It's like, why is she wearing a skirt? Don't move. Oh god, I moved. Damn it. Sorry, I had to try that once. <laughs> that was a decision that you just made. It's all over now. But it's coming back. No, it's not coming back. It's coming back. Okay. Are you going to move this up? Oh, uh, you know why? Because it's a tutorial. It'll let me get away with it. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. It was heart beating. It was like, it was, it was all rumbly. It was great. She feels very happy with herself that she fed that thing. If you're unsure what to do next, press the button. Okay. Head to the cable car station. I think I understand that concept. So, just out of curiosity, the butterfly effect. I can inspect all of these. And I haven't done anything yet, so nobody cares. There's the, the one death totem that I saw, which was of the, uh, of the thing. And there's all kinds of stuff. We're very happy with it. All right, moving on through the tutorial. <laughs> all just, the stuff. We don't care about that. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. Birds are flying past. Background info is not important. Anyway, back to her clothing choices. So it looks like it's like leggings and a plaid skirt and some sort of Russian hat. Up, oh, up, oh, wait. There's something going on here. Cool. Up, oh, indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Okay, so this explains the totems. 
Tribes who once lived in this mountain believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies from possible futures. Well, they're dumb. Anyway, the, so death. Black butterfly. That's a terrible side. thing to say. What? Okay, I'm a bad they're person. Dumb. They're Okay, well, oh my God. I don't know what indigenous people they're talking about. I mean, the, it looks like some sort of Native American slash Indian slash whatever they, who you want to call them. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Okay, so death is black butterflies is the dreamer's death. So if you get a death totem and you see yourself die, it's probably your death. Well, obviously, if you see yourself die. Perhaps, yes. Perhaps. So red is danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Okay, so that's loss. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. That is a... Uh, I like yellow and white. Yeah, yellow and white are the useful ones. But hey, I really look. like the other ones, too, because I'm twisted and morbid like that. <laughs> Especially the death of friends one. And a premonition of the future. Okay, so I have to now not R... Don't do that. R2. It's R2. D2? R2. Oh. Pick up R2 and then right stick along. Yes, I understand Do it. That. You I, can do it. Yeah! We got this. All right, so a bird. Congratulations, a bird does something. Did, there was text on the side there, did you read it? No! The future is uncertain, okay, great. Can, Can you I, go back to the totem screen and look? Let me, let me see, totem screen. Uh, it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't, does it? It doesn't <laughs> wait, wait, I can inspect it, hang on. There's the vision, okay, so a guy gets up and a bird. So you can replay, you can replay the totem, so this is good. So that means when you don't wait, 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 go back. Just in case you're too busy talking and totally miss I'm what it totally has to say. I'm totally not paying attention. Okay, so the events of the past. So look down at the bottom. You've got this this little thing here. Yeah. And you see the two little reds. So I guess once you get all of the totems, you can see the whole string of morbid events. I don't know. I don't know these things. Why are I, you looking at me? Because I, you're smarter than me. You I mean, technically, thing. I do know. You, you because, right? Because but... exactly. Because you understand games. I don't understand games. Look, there are towers over there. That's exciting. What a gorgeous view. What is written on this thing? Can I inspect this? Oh, you can. I can Check exit. it out. The past yeah. is beyond our control. Yeah, graffiti. Don't, don't worry about what it says. Just notice that it's graffiti. I should probably look at that, but it looks like it's just paths of ski lodgeness. Chris? All right. You here? Be sure to do a lot of wandering around. Meh. Mount, mount what do you mean, man? manatee? I don't know. The, you might find clues and stuff that it will be useful to you in the future. Well, I mean, know. see, that's what I don't understand. Is this like, is it, is this like a murder mystery or is it just like your straight horror thing or what? Maybe it's a combination of both. You don't know. No, this is true. I Maybe mean, it's I a multiple murder mystery. Right, yeah. Well, there were multiple murders already. Clothes bag or snoop? Let's be snoopy. Up. Oh. A butterfly thing happened. Uh -huh. You change the narrative of the game. Okay. He knows it. Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, and methodical. So this guy's a serial killer. Yeah. I mean that's that's pretty. Look at much, that face. Just look at that face. Her, her. And I mean, he's wearing what? I like four? Let's see. He's yeah. wearing a T-shirt. Since we just brought, since we brought up the clothing thing, <laughs> he's got on a T-shirt. It looks like a denim shirt, a, a sweater, and like a jacket. Not so, just a sweater, a zipper sorry, sweater. A zipper sweater. Was Look. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. Are those things still in style? I, like I remember that from when I was in high school. I have no idea. This guy is awfully protected. See. See, I wouldn't be that protective of, the, of my phone. Because so, if it was going off, I would have, you know, amazing. like if you came up to it or if somebody came up to it, it's Tell like, as long as it's not like a sext or something, which might be a little embarrassing. Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. What? Where are you going to get a sext from? You. Who else would I get a sext from? I don't know. Well, let's see. But if I was looking at the sext, it would be embarrassing. That would actually be a little, well, no, because you would have <laughs> written it, so it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you haven't read my sext yet. All right, so let's see. A clue found. See, look, clues. Look, you found, see? This is what happens Wolver, when you explore. Victor, Victor, 
I'm a lot of ones. Someone thought Last so. seen on 1998. Oh, what? Milgram? Uh, Milgram. Victor Milgram. He's 6'2". He is 6'2". His last known address was Blackwood Pines. That's vague. Right. Right. Exactly. What? He just lives in Blackwood, Blackwood Pines. Blackwood has solved the mysteries and told them blah, blah, blah. I don't care about clues right now. All right. Ta-da. Ta-da. Nobody Rad. cares. Rad. Rad. Come on. Look at these beauties. Uh, beauties Do the kids today word. still use that word? Rad? And then beauties. I have no idea. Why are they going out to this place at night? That's what I don't understand. Do, doesn't anybody travel during the day anymore? No. They're kids, man. They don't think. Where did this gun come from? It was sitting on the thing, I think. Why is there a gun sitting outside of a ski lodge? Because that's legit. No! It's a shooting range. All right. This makes no sense. People need to practice shooting icicles off the ski bench thing. Apparently. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. So it's a okay, ski you got this. shooting range. I don't know what I'm doing. It hasn't told it's me to do target. anything yet. Okay, target. Use the right stick to aim... What? What? Oh, there's a target. Okay. And then press R2. There. I've shot the bag. Yeah! Woo! Alright, now we go over here. I hear clicking. Oh, it's a timed event. Right. Duh. Okay, I get it now. You, like, you got this. It's it's chirping at me. I don't understand. How are there even cams just sit? Ah, oh, this stupid inverted stick. Yes, I'm a wow. stick's not. Leave it alone. You better hope there's no point in the game where oh, like, the timer screwed. is like really quick I'm and you have to. <laughs> I'm a badass. It's my birthday. That was the dance I you just doing. So, girl. I'm sorry for anybody that's actually trying to pay attention to the dialogue. It's really compl well, completely meaningless. And their brother could the dialogue is meaningless. <laughs> well, if you really care, there's there's the there's there's things. But well, yes, it's a squirrel. Uh, this is gonna be a butterfly effect, isn't it? Shoot the squirrel, man. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just be a for, for the sake of this game. Oh, oh my god! Headshot! Why do you have to show that? Oh. No! Did you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive. Well, you said he was a serial guy. killer, oh, so you're playing on, along, man. I guess. Oh my goodness. Of course, she probably just fed the thing, so... Oh, no! Get it away! Uh-oh, bird. Jesus, are, are you okay? Oh, uh, now she's gonna have rabies. <laughs> I don't think uh, birds carry rabies. rabies. Avian foil? Avian, avian rabies? So, what? I wonder... Yeah, I wonder what would it... I guess if we hadn't shot the squirrel, maybe the bird wouldn't have come down, because there was that good luck thing. Ah! Uh, I can no. The stupid stick. What? Never mind. I think you already saw that. Never mind. I, I, yeah, I already saw the other thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Because it's the same clue. I will admit, I have seen some other let's plays, and most of those people did not do the dick thing, and did not shoot the squirrel, and the bird did not come down. So yes. So I yeah. Think so you I were like, nobody gonna... else did it, so you can go ahead and try it. Right. I do, see. do what everyone else doesn't do. So Be the animal killer. That's right. Okay. We want to make it interesting and dangerous. Let's do all the crappy things. Like I said, in the name of selfishness and greed. Exactly. Well, at least this guy had the key. I think that's what I was reading there. I wasn't totally paying attention. Yeah, I think there was a key there. See, and what's weird about these controls, too, that throws me off, is that it has to do with where you are in the environment. Like, it's not what I would normally do, which is, like, the direction you're facing is up. Right. It's, 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 it's based on where you are on the screen. So, like, you press down to move toward the fourth wall. It's a big mountain. Yeah, it's a big mountain. Like the D. It feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? This guy's brows actually moved slightly. The other guy, not so much. It's weird that I can move around while they're having this conversation. <laughs> Is there something else I should be doing here? Yes, I can go back up into this room. Okay. Just I, look around. So you that's what I'm doing. Chinese. Hey, look, an X. What a crazy place to set up house. Hotel and sanatorium. What? Like I told you, perfect business model, right? Right. Makes no sense. Let's go on so, a vacation and watch all the crazies. So the family bought the mountain, is what they're saying. Hey, look, cameras. Hmm? What do you see? 
You'd think he saw something, considering he just he said, made a noise. He said, huh? huh? And then it's stuck on the screen, and there's nothing else that I can do here except go back. So he obviously saw something, which only the ones who really pay attention will know anything about. You know what this makes me think of? This makes me think of, like, the early 90s games, like King's Quest or whatever it was, where, like, the whole thing was just click events. You just click around on the screen until stuff happens. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I can say that this there is really, that this, this is, is like, a like a cheat because it's, like, so story-driven, but then games back then really were, like, like, Roger Wilco and all, anything by Sierra in the early 90s was basically this, right. except not as pretty. And it was all mouse driven. What? So now you figured out their their uh, format. The now I figured out the okay, so I can I can deal with the format now that I figured out the format. This makes more sense yeah, now. Yeah, no, he definitely <laughs> did. I haven't seen him so. So today. now that you have a solid foundation on which this is based, you can play it properly. Is what you're trying to tell me. Yeah, it makes more sense though. Okay. No, no, it was it was. A good it's not like an action game ish. Right. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Aww. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking. Thanks, about bro. Enjoy the trip. Ah, you know what? You're right. Woo! You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Oh, backstory. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. Nerd. We didn't even know each other existed. But he's the wearing those next glasses. Josh started strapping That's nerd. a bit like your the girl first clue. Nerd. Our made Huge nerd. The front where I was sitting. The fact that they're not taped in the middle. So I got moved to the right. Back. That might have been a little too cliche for me. And next guess. to Josh. That's yeah. But the zipper sweater and the glasses. The zip, right. Exactly. It's legit. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day. Although the sun is coming out. Sure that showed off the train rock. The thing. Or that's moon. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. See, I always love when characters Roll break credits. off the concept in whatever you're doing. Like, that's one of my favorite pastimes, is looking for the movie title in the movie. They always say it. It's not really the movie's, the, the movie title, though. It's not the game title. title. Well, I don't expect it in games, necessarily, because it's not quite the same thing. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting cop... What is... Reverend... Irreverent. What is irreverent all about? Irreverent? Irreverent. As in not reverent? Yeah. I... <laughs> You're a jackass dick sucker. What? Just That's because I don't irreverent. Understand. Okay. So it's, it's using bad words. It's like being crass. It's like being cr I see. How are you... I mean, it's like... What is this? Like the two good things and then the one bad? I don't understand the concept. Sure, here. yes. It makes no sense. So the other one was like, see, now I want to remember them. I would, well, with, it's going to be. With two in, good things and one bad. It's, it's in the character thing, so we can probably look it up. Well, we'll go look at her character. No, we no, can no, go no. look at all their characters. We'll look, we'll look at the characters in the next one. This has already been like 20 minutes. Oh. So we'll just we'll, we'll split it up a little bit, even though like most of it's story driven. Do you know, do you know how many of these videos we're going to post to get through one? Day? We're going to post a bunch. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll call it, we'll, we'll, we'll close on this one and we'll start up with Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, and see where we end up from there. How about that? Okay. All right, so we'll it'll, call it, we'll call it quits for this one. We'll, I'll be, we'll, I'll try not to be irreverent about it, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.